Good morning, you storage legends. It is Monday morning, and what we do on Mondays is we run through my week in numbers, the good, the bad, and the indifferent. This week, there will be another four episodes every single goddamn day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not Saturday, not Sunday, so not every goddamn day. <laughs> um, and if you haven't done so, I know I keep saying it, but please subscribe to my newsletter, mrselfstories.com. I am loving it over there, honestly. I genuinely enjoy it. Monday morning, Monday daytime, I do all the content for the for the next week. And so I have got some awesome things to write about this next week. And so it's a self-storage tip or a business tip, something that ultimately will improve your business performance and your revenue. And it helps me helping you. It helps me writing it and just... I don't know, get it on paper. It really does. And so, and also all, 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 all the way through the week. I so this week, this last week just gone. I have to try and think and uh read and educate myself and think, okay, I'm gonna write about this. Okay, I take a note of it, and then I enhance that note on a Monday morning, go through it and uh Monday afternoon and just write five different uh tips. So yeah, it's definitely helping me about business, about leadership, about just self-storage, self, I'm just aware, I'm alert. My subconscious is always looking for something to, how I can improve my business and then how I can help you improve your business. Okay, that being said, so let's get into weekly figures. Just one more thing. Um, I don't know if people know, but I've been doing sober October. I think they do because I've wrote it in my newsletter. Um, there's, there's positives. Definitely, definitely positives. There's negatives. But for those of you who know me, no, I love a drink. I love a beer when I get in, just to relax. I don't know, just to relax. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just really, really enjoy a beer. I enjoy a beer watching football. I enjoy a glass of wine. I enjoy a Southern Comfort and Diet Coke. I really enjoy alcohol. But the problem is, like most people, I think, not not like most people, like some people, I do think it becomes a habit. But it's not a good habit. It's a detrimental habit in terms of health. Um and don't get me wrong, I think there's some health benefits apparently for drinking and stuff. And so every October, I like to press a reset button and just not drink. And uh, I've got to say, this year in particular, I have bloody loved it. I've smashed it with work. I've smashed it with fitness. Tomorrow morning, oh, Monday morning, I'm recording this at 9.40 at night. Um, this is Sunday night. And Monday morning, I'll be getting up at 5.30. I'll be doing my stretches because I've got a bad bloody... I, I, if you listen to my newsletter, you'll know that I've got a bad knee. And so I've got stretches to do. I'll be doing a gentle jog to the gym, meet my mate there at 6.30, and then jogging back by about 7.30. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. And and then my, my whole day is set up. But then equally, I don't want to say this. I don't want to be one of those people who just say, yeah, yeah, lots of positives, lots of positives. And there's no negatives. Because I think there is a bit of negatives. One, sometimes you just feel like a drink. Sometimes you feel like a beer. And don't get me wrong, this October... I felt I, I haven't actually thought, oh my God, I can't go up. I found it relatively easy not to drink. And it certainly questioned how much I should drink in the future. But there's, for example, there's been a night out that I haven't gone on because why? Just drunk people would annoy me. So I thought, Do you know what? Why bother going? And so instead of going out on the night out on a Saturday, I went for a bloody walk at like nine o'clock at night and I listened to my book and I really enjoyed it. But there is a downside to that. So I've, I've seen loads and loads of posts, posts on LinkedIn about people, uh, it's positive, there's only positive, not drinking, da, 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 da. Yeah, there's massive positives. And is it a net positive? I would, I don't know. I don't know, because if I say, yeah, that means, well, why do you drink then? Because it's a ne negative drinking. So I'm not going to go teetotal, no chance. I, I enjoy it too much. But equally, I do think there's, there's definitely some pros and cons out there. And so I would recommend everybody, Everybody, my mum and dad love a drink of wine, a glass of wine on an evening, and they did it in January. And mum was like, I'm never going back, Dean. I'm never going back to drinking four or five times a week. And don't get me wrong, they only have like a glass or two of wine. That's it. I'm never going back to drinking, Dean. That's it. I've seen the light. <laughs> and then, <laughs> February comes and she's back. <laughs> and so I just feel like that everybody should try, try it. Take some time off drinking because also you get so it's almost like you have so much time. You wake up on a Sunday morning and you're like, whoo, 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 jump out of bed. The wife's still in bed and I get to go for it's morning. I went for a 4K walk before anybody was up. It was great. That's Sunday morning, by the way. Anyway, this has got nothing to do with storage. I'm just, I like to, I don't know, personalize it and tell you what's going on in my life. And yeah, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. I can't lie. I've really enjoyed it. I feel like it's been a fantastic, I, I loved it. I, I've lost half a stone. 
half a stone because it's momentum. When you stop drinking, you're thinking, oh yeah, I'm not having as many calories. So therefore you move more. Therefore you go to the gym more. And then if you go into gym more, then you go for a run more or you do something else. It's all about momentum. It's just like literally one little thing has a knock-on effect to all the other things. And if I was drinking, I'd probably be like, ah, can't be asked to go to gym at 6.30 in the morning. I'll go later. And then later never comes. And you're thinking, well, I didn't go Monday, so I'm not going to go Tuesday. And then Wednesday comes, ah, I won't go. And so it's a knock-on effect. So I really do think that it's had a positive, massive positive impact with me. Um, and I am the lightest I've been all year, which is awesome. Um, right. Having bored you all with my no drinking October, sober October, I am going to get into the figures, the stuff you've tuned in for, really. <laughs> Nothing to do with me in sober October. And by the way, I'm kind of cheating as well. I feel like I need to tell you, I'm kind of cheating as well because um, we're going to Oktoberfest next Saturday, the 21st. So I'm kind of doing three weeks not drinking. So having said all that, just forget it. No, but I've, I've always I always planned to uh, to go to Oktoberfest. It's a big day, night, no, it's a big night out with all the mums and dads from school and stuff. And uh, yeah, everyone's looking forward to it. We're all getting dressed up. Well, some people are getting dressed up. Some people are. I love getting... Anyway, right, stop talking. Nobody cares. Nobody cares, Dean. Right. So let's talk about the finances. First of all, we took a grand total of £31,087 last week. Wrexham took 2733 And by the way, I'm, it's very hard to read these numbers. Uh, five, Cloughborough took 5307 Beverly took 6985 and Willoughby took £16,061.44. I, I think that's a little bit lower from where I want to be. Reservations. In total, we had 29 reservations last week. Uh, Katie O was a top dog. She reserved eight units. Way to go, Katie. And by the way, that is particularly good because Katie has a lot of things to do in terms of Mansfield, uh, opening it up, uh, contractors, etc., electrics. Da, 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 da. She's got all that to do. So yeah, way to go there, Katie. In fact, I'm going to put Mike here. Just one second. I've got to remind myself to do something. So I won't be a second. All right, I've just set up myself a reminder because there's some electrics need doing at Mansfield and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so it's an amazing job by Katie because then she also goes to Wrexham with problems with gates, etc. And so, yeah, God knows how she found the time to do eight reservations. So way to go, Katie. Uh, three people booked online, so that's 10% of our bookings are booked online. Um, so that uh, is, yeah, it's good. It's re you'd rather have it than not, wouldn't you? So that's good. Um, what else can I tell you? Um... Right, so it's nothing really. Let's go on to Willoughby. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get on to something else first of all. Uh, this is just Stormore Analytics. So this is our top of funnel. And hopefully I'm going to be talking about this in one episode of the newsletter this week. I've I've got like uh, probably 20 different things to write about. And so obviously I can only include four a week. And so I'm going to see if I can write about that in the next, um, yeah, uh in, in next week's art, in next week's newsletter. Well, this week's, this week's when you're listening to it. It's next week's for me, but this week's for you. Okay, so Google Analytics, actually top of your funnel. That's on people visiting. We had 355 visitors last week. Um, we've had a look at Google, and Google have, um, there's, uh, what's the word? Um, there's been, there's, so there's been some suspicious activity on our AdWords accounts. It's 10 out of 10 for suspicious activity. So um, we've cut out a lot of them. So the, the users have gone down by 17% this last week. However, that hasn't made any difference to reservations because a lot of them have been fit. Uh, I can't remember the exact terminology now, the word in used, but yeah, it's not, it's not correct and suspicious behavior on the account. So got, if I'm honest, I have no idea what that means at all. Um, I am just taking guidance from the powers that be. So, and I'll, I'll obviously I'll let you know if if anything substantial happens for you to check yours and stuff. But Laura Moxon's taking care of it for me, and um, I will ask her for an update soon. But I'm sure she's doing a great job. I have no idea what's going on. So yeah, you've got to trust your people that you work with, and I know Laura will be on it for me. So 350. And by the way, I mean that uh, she's on it already because we've had 17% decrease in traffic. However, the reservations have increased and the pay-per-clicks have decreased as well, the amount we're spending. So already, whatever changes she's done, it's working. It's working for me. I haven't actually told her that. So if she listens to this, then she'll know. And also, I haven't had an update, the monthly update or weekly update yet. So I well, might have had it. I haven't checked the emails. 
Oh God, I need to, do you know what? I've moved accountants. That is a big thing for me. I've moved accountants recently. I, I've not wanted to publicize it on here, but it's been something that has been on my mind for a long, 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 long time and nothing particularly wrong with me, old accountant. I love him. I think he's a real nice person. And yeah, I had to, uh, I had to have an awkward conversation last week. I hated it, hated it, hated it. Put it off all the time. My mentor was like, Dean, do it, do it now. Do it today, do it, do it, do it. And I was like, all right. Anyway, it was horrible, absolutely horrible. Hated it because I like the guy, I respect the guy. And yeah, I think he, I think he likes me too. And I said, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I did actually say that. But I put, ha just joking. Um, anyway, and the reason I bring this up is because my new accountant, oh, Jeepers Creepers, if I don't email him back, he's like, Dean, I'm not putting up with this. This is it. And I'm thinking, shit, I am. I need to get better. And he is like the top bollocks, apparently, for accountancies. Um, charges like it as well. Uh, but it probably, like I always say about Dan Bradbury, Dan Bradbury, my mentor. And the good thing about Dan is he challenges me. He doesn't let me get away with normal shit that I normally get away with. And so he calls me out on my bullshit, which... I hate and love at the same time because it keeps me accountable. And now I've got a bloody accountant that does the same thing as well. So he keeps me accountable. And oh, I've had an email from him saying, Dane, I want this by tomorrow. If you don't go by tomorrow, I'm like, oh, shit. And if you're listening, Chris, you do really talk like that. <laughs> I'm joking, you don't. <laughs> anyway, shit, I'm scared now. It's like my, it's like a headmaster at school. Jesus Christ. Right, let's get on with this. So 355 Website visitors last week, 25 reservations. So there was 29 reservations overall across all four sites, uh, but four of them came from Beverly, and Beverly is not part of the Stormall website. So 25 reservations, and that's a 7% conversion. So that is really, 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 really good. Right, so let's have a look at the individual sites. And 34 quotes at Willoughby. We reserved fair, uh, nine, nine units at Willoughby. So that was a conversion rate of 26%, so pretty good. We moved in 13 people. 13 people at 38% conversion rate from quotes to move in. So ding, dad, dong. That's good. The ding, dang, dong, what? Uh, total move-ins was 1,125. Move-outs was 770. So we was 355 to the good. So yay us. How many times do you reckon the loot and van was rented out? One to seven, kids. Come on, have a guess. Oh, my God. Dave, Pete, Paul. You were right. It's five. <laughs> Can you imagine if Dave, Pete, and Paul actually said five? It's like, oh, my God, he's talking to me. Anyway, five. Uh, so we moved it. As you know, you moved in. We moved in 16 rooms, nine moved out. So 341 is occupied. Two containers moved out. So we've got 41 containers occupied. 78.48% occupied. In, in terms of occupancy, £13.88 average sales per moving. Not good. We want to get to £25 there. Average insurance sold this week was £6,000. That is bang on where we want to be. We've got five move-ins due for next week for 495 square foot, but 11 move-outs due for 1120 So hopefully we're going to be around about scratch next week, but it could, could be less. Right, Clough Road. 29, mo uh, 29 quotes. Amount of quotes per day is four quotes per day. Number of reservations, 11. Where to go, Clough Road. We're starting to improve. So that's a conversion rate of 38%. So really good there. Um, move-ins. We had six move-ins. So finally got some bloody move-ins at Clough Road. For so that's a 21% conversion rate, quotes to move-ins. We've only moved in 445 square foot, I think it is, all month at Clough Road. So that's horrendous. 250 square foot moved in, 515 moved out. So that's 265 square foot down. £4,166 is the insurance merchandise sales average. Uh, sorry, the insurance, not I think it's all merchandise. Uh, £4,166 is the insurance sold there. Next week, we've got six move ins for 450 square foot. We've got three move outs for 275. So it's going to be a positive week there. Let's just go on to Stora platform because I want to tell you. I don't want to tell you, but it's it's what it is. We've lost square footage. We've lost occupancy. 68.33% now um, is at Clough Road. Uh, the gross revenue is £11,702. Now, I have to say, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm gutted with that because it's down 10% from this time last month. Yes, we've lost occupancy, but we put prices up. In, in, we, we always put price up, don't we? We've got a, a revenue management. Yes, we've lost a little bit of occupancy. Not a lot. 
And I don't understand why the gross revenue is so impactful. So look, we're going to have to have a look at that because... Uh, 10% down. It was 13,099 this time last month and we're at 11,000. So we're 1,200 quid down. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Especially when the rate per square foot is up, £23.88. So it's, it was £23.48 and uh, it's now £23.88. So it's gone up 1.7%. Um, yeah. Yes, the occupancy has gone down by 3.43%. But... I don't quite understand that. I'm, I might be missing something. It is nearly 10 o'clock at night, so there's every chance that I'm missing something. But I thought that earlier on today when I looked at this as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to have a, have a look at that and see. see. Maybe, maybe it's just time of month. Maybe it'll change um, depending on, you know, next week and stuff. Maybe it's just time of month. For, you know, it's been a bad period for at this point, and then next week will be okay because of the way it's... Uh, the, the bills are structured or something of the dates. I don't know. So... I just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Right, Beverly, seven quotes, so not a lot of quotes there. Four reservations, that's a conversion rate of 57%, so really good there. We have had uh, two move-ins, and that's a conversion rate of 29%. 235 square foot moved in, 155 square foot moved out, 80 square foot up, so at least we're up there. Number of internal rooms moved in, two moved out, two 82%, uh, sorry, 82 uh, units occupied and we're 88% full. So Beverly just keeps on performing, even though the oh, there's another, I'm going to do a newsletter about this, there's another self-storage site opened in Beverly, a smaller one. Well, it looks like it's going to be a smaller one. However, it's a container site and they've done something a little bit different and I'm all for disrupting the industry and being different. And they have been different. Will it work? I don't know. I can't see it catching on, but it's something different. It's thinking outside the box. I don't particularly, not big fans of these people. Um, I can't go into the reason why, not on a public platform. <laughs> but yeah, I, I haven't had any dealings with them. Or, or, or I can only say how I've heard that they treat their, and their staff and other people. And it's not how I would treat other people. And um, it's... They've, they've, this isn't their major business, but I've I've had rumors are looking to get into self storage. They're, they're very 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 wealthy individuals, and the, it looks like they're looking. I got told there was looking to get in self storage, then there wasn't because it was too difficult, and now it looks like they are because they're putting containers around. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna do that a deep dive into that in my newsletter because I want to do a bit more research on it and have a look into it because they're doing something different and. Whether it works or not, I love out-of-the-box thinking. So I feel like we should all do that from time to time. And this is certainly out-of-the-box thinking. I've never, ever, ever seen it before. And I love it. I, 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 don't, I don't love the idea, but I love that these guys are from a different industry and they've come into self-storage and all of a sudden they're doing something different in self-storage in containers. And I've never seen it in... I look and nosy at everybody. Look, I, all the, I just, I, just, I enjoy looking at other people's sites and learning, educating myself, seeing what other people are doing. It's just a, I don't know, it's just a geeky pleasure I've got. And these guys have done something completely different. So I will be doing something on it this week in the newsletter because I find it really fascinating. And if I find it fascinating, you might do as well. Anyway, so crack on then. Uh, so we're 88% full, 8,500 average insurance sold. This next week, we've got three move-ins for 480 and we've got 245 square foot with three move-outs next week as well. So we are going to be around about 250 up somewhere around there. Wrexham, geez, it's nine o'clock, uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, Wrexham, 12 quotes, just keeps on giving, does Wrexham, doesn't it? Uh, three reservations, that's a conversion rate of 25%. We've had three move-ins, so a conversion rate of 25%. 495 square foot moved in, 210 square foot moved out. So we are 285 square foot net. Um, so really, really, really good at Rex, and we're getting some more containers down there now. Uh, we've got eight containers rented out, and I think we've ordered another six, so we're going to have 14 containers on site. I believe, just by my my workings out, so literally me putting my foot in front of each other and marking it out like that, we can get 51 containers in. So we're going to have 14. Hopefully we can have that in two years, uh, within 18 months, sorry, from now. And um, that means that this place will be netting like 100 and some thousand pound a year. So not bad when you bought it for 90 grand and the business paid for most of it itself as well. So really, really, really good deal. Uh, it 
massive is going to help my cash flow. But we're not there yet because we've got to buy 50 containers, which is over 100 grand. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> right, next. Um, so we've got £16,000 worth of insurance sold this week. And it was an average of 5,333 per move in. Uh, next week, we've got again a positive week due 125 square foot due to move in and one move out for 10 square foot. So that is everything, my friends. That was a longer, long, oh, Jesus Christ, 20 minutes. That was a lot longer than I thought because I've got to get up early in the morning. I was hoping to be in bed by 10 tonight. That's how what rock and roll I am. Sober October, baby. So I can go to Jim Ellie tomorrow morning. All right, my friends, I love you. I appreciate you. I'll be doing an episode on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And don't forget to sign up to the newsletter because there is a newsletter uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And just so you know, it's all different content. Well, I say it's different. It's repurposed on the podcast like four or five months later. And it gives a personal spin on it. Rather than just words, it gives my personal spin on it. But you'll have already forgot about it anyway. So yeah, it's all repurposed um, for stuff. So the new stuff, the new stuff <laughs> happens happens to go in the newsletter and then I'm catching up with everything on the podcast. I've got so many episodes to do, honestly. Um, so I, I enjoy recording them tomorrow. I've got to record like 10, 10 podcast episodes on my schedule. So, yes. All right, that is it. I love you. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful week and uh, I'll speak to you on Tuesday. Goodbye.